Diabetes Education Council. We are doing uh, one in our series of nutrition education sessions, and this is going to be the grocery store tour. Um, so I have one participant with me today, um, and he's actually going to be filming for me too, so he'll be in there with me. Um, today we are actually at Kroger, and um, we're here to talk about um, diabetes and how we can incorporate our <laughs> different um, food purchasing choices into our diets and how that can be beneficial. Um, so our objectives are today to be able to teach our participants, um, basically to teach them uh, how to choose the right types of vegetables, because one of our objectives is to increase the amount of vegetables in our diets. Um, so we're going to talk about the difference between non-starchy and starchy vegetables. Um, and we're also going to talk about whole grains and why they're going to be beneficial for us. So our objective is for our participants to be able to describe those in the end. Okay, so today we're actually going to be starting, we're going to actually be going around the perimeter of the store today. Um, the reason for that being, if you notice around the perimeter of most grocery stores, you know, you usually start in the produce section, and it goes around to the bakery, the meats, um, the dairies. Um, you miss out a lot of those processed foods that come in packages because there's not a lot of that around the perimeter of the store. So a lot of times these sections can be a little bit more healthy than others. Um, so that's where we're going to be starting here. And as you can tell, today we're starting in the produce section. Um, the biggest reason for that is, as you know from your lessons on carb counting and the plate method that we've talked about previously, um, we want to have half of our plate be fruits and vegetables, um, and non-starchy vegetables for those of us who are diabetic. Um, so, we're going to be starting here and talking about the difference between starchy and non-starchy vegetables. Okay. All right. So we are talking about, we're going to talk about the difference between starchy and non-starchy vegetables. Um, as I'm sure we discussed in our carb counting basics, um, starchy vegetables are going to increase our blood sugars higher and um, a little more quickly than the non-starchy vegetables. Um, so we want to make sure that we make half of our plates the non-starchy vegetables and have a smaller portion of starchy ones when we're eating those. Um, so when we talk about starchy versus non-starchy, the main starchy vegetables are going to be peas, potatoes, and corn, and any types of those kind of things. So non-starchy vegetables are going to be any types of greens like lettuces, um, we're going to have carrots, a lot of the things you see around us, onions, um, avocados, peppers, so there's tons of options that we can fill our plates with um, that are going to be a little bit better for our blood sugar. So we want to keep that in mind when we're picking out our vegetables. Any questions about that? That's great. Awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have a really small activity. Um, we're going to have you go out and pick two, which you, your idea of is two starchy, or two non-starchy vegetables and one starchy vegetable. All right. Sounds good. All right. Um, so here's what you got when you went out in the store. Um, so we have today a um, yellow squash. We have a banana pepper and a potato. Um, so this is obviously what was our starchy vegetable. Um, we talked about that potatoes, peas, and corn are the ones that are going to raise our blood sugar a little bit higher. Um, so potato, very good job. It's a great starchy vegetable. Okay. Got our banana pepper, which is a non-starchy vegetable. Um, so it's a good one to incorporate in things like salads or on sandwiches, anything you like. So that's an awesome one too. And now we have a yellow squash, which um, is most people would think just off based on looking at it and tasting it, it would be a non-starchy vegetable. Um, but for the purposes of diabetic um, carb counting, uh, squash actually counts as a starchy vegetable, which might be a little surprising to some of you. Um, so when we think about like squash or zucchini, uh, acorn squash, all of those, they actually do count as starchy vegetables. So um, that's something to keep in mind. All right, so now we've moved on. We are actually at the next section of the store. This is um, the bakery and the bread section, as you can tell. So we're here to talk about um, different types of whole grain products. So um, the reason that we think the whole grain is so important for diabetics is a lot like the reason we wanted starchy and not or non-starchy versus starchy vegetables. Um, whole grain breads and products um, actually have more fiber 
thin, uh, refined grains. So the difference is, is that whole grain products actually use the whole grain when they're being processed, whereas refined grains, they take off the outer shells and they just throw those parts away and they have to add back in the vitamins that that part actually provided in the first place. So whole grain products usually have more fiber and a little bit more B vitamins for us, so they're going to be better for us and not make our blood sugars go up quite as quickly. So that's why we want to keep those in our diet. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how do we identify what products are actually whole grain or which ones, because it's, it's not based on which food is brown or um, if it even says made with whole grain. So the best way you can ever tell, do you know how to tell? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, the best way, best way to tell is actually look at the ingredients list. So first thing we're going to do is pick up a package. Um, this one says honey seven grain, made with whole grains. So if you can look at the food label, first thing we want to do is look at the ingredients. They're listed right here. Okay. So the first ingredient, if it says whole grain or whole wheat, we know that that's a whole grain food. And this one actually is. It says whole wheat flour. So we know that this product is a whole grain food. Awesome. Okay, so let's check a couple others so we can see um, the honey wheat one right next to it. Okay, um, now you can tell the difference. Under ingredients, the very first ingredient is unbleached enriched flour. So we know that this one is not a whole grain. All right. <laughs> All right. So we've moved on to the next section of the store, and this one kind of is on the interior. Um, I don't know how much you can see, but this is where our canned vegetables are. So we moved on from produce, but now we're going to do a little bit more at looking at different nutrition labels. So I've pulled out four different items for us to look at, two starchy and two non-starchy. Um, we're going to look at the difference on the labels. So our first one is lima beans, um, which are considered a starchy vegetable. So the first thing we do when we want to look at the nutrition serving label, the first thing we're going to do is actually look at the serving size. Um, so for this food, our serving size is one half of a cup, um, which is a, a typical serving size of vegetables. Um, so serving size, and for diabetics, one of the first things we want to look at is actually the total carbohydrates. We don't want to look at the sugars. Um, we want to look at the total carbohydrates. And for us, in one serving, there are 19 grams of carbohydrates which is slightly more than one carb serving. Because as we know, carb servings range in 15 grams around. So this is a little bit more than one serving because it's uh, lima beans, which are very starchy. Um, but it's got 19 grams right here. We don't even need to bother looking at the sugars. So, all right, and we're gonna move on to the next one. So lima beans, we're also gonna look at our corn. Okay, corn is almost exactly the same. We've got a half a cup serving right up here at the top just one serving and then we go down here and our total carbohydrates are right at 13 grams so a little better for us um, right around 15 so this will be one carb count too okay now we're gonna go to our non starchy vegetables so we've got asparagus spears serving size is about five spears um, which would probably break down to about half a cup um, so it'll be one serving I'm gonna go straight down here to total carbohydrate three grams so that's a lot less, and that's how we know that this is also a non-starchy vegetable. There's not many carbs in here. Okay, and the last one we're gonna look at is also mushrooms. So, a half a cup is the serving size as well. So on all of these, um, half a cup is roughly the serving size, and our total carbohydrates are four grams. So once again, we can tell that this is um, a food that's going to fit pretty well in our carb counting diet. Um, and it's going to be non-starchy as well. So we can have a lot more of the asparagus and the mushrooms to fit in our diets than we can the corn and the lima beans. So that's why we're saying to choose a lot more of the non-starchy vegetables. Right. Any questions about that? Nope, that's great. All right. Okay, so we're coming to the end of our grocery store tour. I hope you enjoyed your time here with me and I hope that you learned something. Um, so we basically went over um, the different types of produce that have starchy and non-starchy vegetables, um, how we can incorporate them into our diets a little bit, and that they should be half of our plate. Um, we also talked about whole grains and why they're important, for, especially for diabetics to eat. Um, we talked a little bit about the nutrition serving label, 
Um, and of course, there's so much more that we could talk about in the grocery store. I mean, we could talk about every single food that's in there, but um, for today's purposes, we just really wanted to talk about vegetables and whole grains. And so I hope you really learned something about that. And definitely, I can't wait to see you in the next class.